trust we have in one another. Um, so how would you experience? Oh, you know, how would you describe we, you know, the first spring under Matt Luke and what, what does he bring to the offensive line right now? Yeah, um, I've loved working with Coach Luke. I think the energy that he brings, and I'm sure all the other alumni will say it, is energy. Um, the energy he brings and then the attention to detail that he brings, like, it's infectious. Everyone now is, you know, you got older guys coaching younger guys. You have younger guys coming up to older guys and saying, hey, I think you could have done this better. That attention to detail and then that energy. Like, even those days in spring where maybe you were dragging it a little bit, you came in, you saw him, he had that energy. You know, he, you got to match the energy and. He, he gets it out of you, so it's been awesome. Like you're three now, just how do you feel growing more as one of the faces of this offensive line heading into this season? Well, I don't really look at it as a face of the O-line. I think we're all a unit. Um, I think we're a package deal. I think everyone on the O-line is you know, the face of the O-line. So I think it's just been great to work with everyone, grow as a team, and you know, just become closer as well off the field. And I, I think that translates on the field when you look at it. So. You're up uh, four pounds. Yeah, um, I knew too that during camp, you know, just with the workload, you kind of slimmed down a little bit. So having those extra pounds on me to stay at that 310, 315 ish, you know, that was kind of strategic to stay in that range. I think that's where, you know, I, I feel best, play best, have the most strength, but still am able to move out on the perimeter. You feel like you, uh, you got your most, I guess, fit or your healthiest as you've been in a long time since you've been here? Yeah, um, I've been bugging Megan, our nutritionist about the DEXA scans just to see like what my body fat is and you know talking with my dad like he called me up because he's always on me about making sure I keep my weight up I called him up and I said I'm like yeah, I, this is the heaviest I've been but this is also the um, this is the best I've felt body composition wise so I'm, I'm eager when we get our DEXA results back to see what my body fat's at where my muscle mass is that sort of thing it seems like every player kind of references making uh, the nutritionist and, like the role she, she does like, which, what makes her so I guess special for you guys to kind of stay in shape and stay healthy yeah um I, I love the fact she's always in the bistro. Like she's available, she makes herself available, and she's um, like she relates to us as players. If that makes sense, like she's not. We don't look at her as someone that we're scared of. Like she wants to be someone that we feel like we can come to, and she's done a great job of that. Like any nutrition question, I'll text her about supplements, nutrition, anything like that. Um, I think she's made herself very available to us, and she's someone that we want to uh, do well for. And, she makes us want to get it out of ourselves. She inspires us to be better. What I've been talking to Tristan about is just the continuity of this offensive line and Dabo not going in the portal for anything and just keeping it in-house and keeping it with this group. Just how is this group growing as a unit together and what are you guys expecting for, the, I guess, what are your expectations for this group heading into the year? Yeah, um, me and Tristan have talked about it. The whole alliance talked about it. Like We really want to um, set the standard. We want to go out there and show what we can do. And I think we have the guys to be you know, the best O-line, period. So I think we all know what we can can do and holding each other accountable like I was saying earlier um, making sure everyone's holding everyone accountable whether it's a freshman holding a senior accountable vice versa like everyone's being held accountable because we know what we can accomplish if we're held accountable how excited are you for you that season opening matchup against George get tested right off the bat man uh, they have great guys over there great scheme they play with they play with some grit to them I'm really excited I think that um, you know I think uh, playing against them will be a great uh, way to start the season off, kind of see what we're made of. And I think that we can really, you know, do well. And I think that'll be a confidence booster to kind of see what we're doing and, you know, how we stack up against them. So I, I'm excited. I, I think we can, we can do well. It's just, like I said, having that accountability, having that belief in ourselves, being able to execute, not making stupid mistakes. That's what it always comes down to to win football games. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Blake.